Hello everyone, we will continue the topic search help exit and in the previous video we took the requirement that only authorized user can able to see the data of the search help and unauthorized will not be able to see that data. So what we did, we created a table. So whatever the users are into those table, only those are authorized, others are not authorized. Then I have written the logic in the search help exit. We have written a query for that from that particular table. In that table, we are checking if the user is existing. Yes, that is authorized. If user is not existing, size sub rc will be other than zero and we are refreshing the record table or data table. Now what I will do, I will put a breakpoint and we will understand the full execution in the debugging code. Now I will put a breakpoint. I will go to back button. Do not run here, okay, because your code will, SAP will not consider the code. But you can do, you can come to the session again. Or you can go to back button and come to search help again. And this is the major question which so many people ask, yes. That whatever they did, it's not considering. You just have to come again. I'm running the search help. We have to ignore this pop-up. Now we will understand in that debugging code. So firstly, call control step will be cell 1. You can see our call control step will be cell 1. I'll put a breakpoint here also so that I can show you pre-cell also. I will do F8, pre-cell 1. Now we have pre-cell. Okay, so as of now pre-cell one only. Now pre-cell will come. Now we have pre-cell. Whenever this if condition is true, it will fill our SHLP cell out. And now if I will do F8, you can see whatever the SHLP cell opt selection condition, they are here. Whenever I will click on to this button, select call control step will be select. And you can see the call control step is select. After select, yes, record underscore tab will be filled. Just see here as of now, record underscore tab. If I will see that data, as of now, zero records. After select, the record underscore tab will be filled. Now you can see still we have select. Now we have record underscore tab has 17 records. I put two breakpoints. That's why from here it is going here. Okay. Now we have the disp. The disp the step is disp. Now the user which is authorized 17 records will display else it will not display. So this if condition true. Now, what is Sai name R Mehta? This is my login ID. Yes. So this system variable will be R Mehta. Yes. It will check into this table. Is R Mehta is there or not there? Yes, it is there. Now you can see this select query is giving the size sub rc0. If size sub rc0, we are not refreshing the record tab. So now if I will do F8, you can see we are getting all the records. Once we will select a record, you all know the call control step will be returned. And now we are getting the expected result. This is our result. Now I will go for other case. So for that, I will simply, simply remove the entry from this table. Because now 
am not authorized to view that data. Now I will run. I will run the search help again. Now I will run the search help again. We have to ignore this pop-up. Firstly, call control step will be cell one. So now call control step is cell one. Cell one because I put two breakpoints. So that's why it is still in the code. Now we have the step pre-cell one. Now we have the step pre-cell. It will fill the selection condition. And now you can see we are able to see the selection condition. I will go for OK. Select step will be called now. The call control step will be select. This is our record tab. After select, yes. After select step, record tab will be filled. I will do F8. F8, record tab has 17 records. Now the step is disp, disp. Now we will go here. Now this if condition is true. Now based upon R Mehta, it will check into this table. Do we have a user R Mehta? There is no R Mehta into this table. It means I am not authorized. Now, whenever this query will execute, you can see size sub RC is other than zero. Now, record tab has 17 records, but I am not authorized to see that data. So, system will simply, simply refresh this record tab. And now you can see record tab has how many records? Zero records. Now, if I will do F8, now the step will be pre-sell. Pre-sell means it will take you to the selection condition box itself, where you have the selection condition. Whenever I will do F8, so that you will be able to see the selection condition box. You will be able to see the pop-up box. Yes, because it should remain here itself. You will again do enter, but you are not authorized. So system will not give you any, any data. And this is most, most common requirement from the project. Yes, whenever you want to set the authorized user to see the div search help data, or whenever you want to see the unauthorized, whenever you want to go for unauthorized user will not be able to see the data you can simply, simply use the this step. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I explained each and everything in that debugging mode. Firstly, I showed you when I authorized, when, when I did the entry from the table, size sub RC4, and we refresh the table. In the next video, we will take one more requirement and we will achieve through our call control steps. So that's it in this video. Thank you.